and in the distance over there is the Great Home where I was on um, stage four and today I'm walking from Conway all the way along the bottom to just the bottom of the hill here um, in Bangor, 16 and a half mile ish. I'm just um, on my way down to Bangor station now to catch the train to Conway. Here I am back where I left off stage number five of the Wales Coastal Path. Smallest house in Great Britain. Just getting out of Conway now. Um, going past the marina. And uh, today it's going to be a noisy one to Bangor and along the uh, the A55 expressway called Budlondeb Woods. Yeah, so this afternoon the rain will be coming on and I've got my waterproofs ready so it'll be a variation. Um, I don't know what the path is like around um, South Wales, obviously around Port Talbot way. I think that goes quite near the M4 motorway. But <coughs> for the foreseeable future, this is definitely going to be one of the most uninspiring stages. Um, just weaving across and under and over the A55 expressway around my mawr and llanfa'r fechan. I've done it on the bike. That's how I know. Conway Tunnel. Conway Marina. A shell with a dragon's tail. Conway Golf Club. I'm sure he's not happy with that shot. Too much divot. A few quids worth there. And today you can see the sandbanks off the Ganway Beach. Low tide today. Now this is what I call impressive. Just look at this now. This is so, so sweet. N H S and a heart. Sunset. <laughs> it's free, Conway. How nice. And a nice little man made bench here. Die out, fair play. Buffin Island there in the distance. And I'll be going past that today. Where's this ball gonna land now? Get in the hole. Ooh. Not good. Nearly as far away from the pin as when he hits it the other side. It's taking part, that's important. And today is the last of the train journeys um, along the North Wales coast. It's worked out very well, really. Um, after today it's from home to Carnarvon, then a bus back 
simple. Then it all gets more interesting then. From Carnarvon to Trevor, probably bus back again. And then down the same peninsula, which I'll hopefully be camping. See what happens. That's a golfing equivalent of a keyboard warrior for me. Boom, boom. Just gone off the official trail onto the beach. Nice walking for about half a mile now. It's just the path that's just there on the dunes there, on the top of that dune there, but it's very sandy. It tires you. This is more enjoyable. There we are, the busy 55, which is going to be my year old for the next three to four hours to Llanfarvechan. Joy! Now I'm just hoping this beach walk will not have been in vain. Just hope I can get onto the path here now and not having to turn back well. I'd only have to go up there anyway. I just had to turn back from there. Train would be good now. Pen mine back to no years ago. All the cars used to beep their horns going through this tunnel. Nobody seems to be doing that no more. You are here. Bangor 11. Now the tide is coming in. Pen Mine Mauer. That's excellent artwork, that is. In my honest opinion. That's the way into Penmine Mauer, under the railway, and the A55. That's good. Proper sign there, and a little child sign there of the Wales Coast Path. Captain Dan from America guessed that these would be chalets you could rent. I don't think so. Saying that. I haven't got a clue what they are. There would have been a jetty here in 1888 for the quarry.
German cargo vessel de Simula broke her moorings while at the jetty. She remained aground for two weeks. 1967. Wow. As late as that. There was a German vessel there. And that's the remains of the old jetty. And she remained aground there for two weeks. Interesting. And I'm guessing the quarry would have been there. And there's a clock there. That's, I've often wondered why that's been there. Now zigzagging my way up now underneath the A55. Oh. I've come from the second um, brow of the hill over there, Conway along the coast all the way to here and I'm not even halfway yet the tide is right and now I'm virtually adjacent to Puffin Island now in Llanwarrachan in a south north line as it were and in front of me is Llanwarrachan Promenade where I shall have a welcome break Typical. Just bloody typical. High tide again. Right to the top. What blooming timing again. I just hope I can pass over there. I'm going to have to go over these stones and then just about. Weird this is. So weird. It's never, well, obviously it comes this high twice a day, but ah, oh, this time, and I'm here. I did it with a few minutes to spare, probably, well, I don't know, quarter of an hour, possibly, because it obviously comes up to the seaweed here. That's the smallest road tunnel I've ever seen. I remember before I had a van, and it wouldn't go through. Artwork again from some children on the sign there. Then and now, try Flavan Nature Reserve. Up here you've got Snowdonia's mountains. You've got the Orsa there and Boyle Canol. Well, the Earth, Llwytsmor. The highest one, Llwytsmor Bach, with a little cairn on the top of it. And in the distance there's Droskull, I think. And Moyle Union here. I've said in a previous video about the Lavan Sands and the rocks that collects here. Um, 
Bangor University lecturer who was on course he was and because of the terrain here of where it is the way the tides go around Anglesey and between England and Ireland um, there's rocks collect here from all over the Irish Sea and as far north as the Ulster Craig in Scotland which is off the Ayrshire coast and I've been there a few times actually and it's a bloody long way by car trust me that way it is basically all the way past Puffin Island, Isle of Man, Cumbria um, Strand Ra, and then up and there's a little island called the Alsa Craig, it looks like a Christmas pudding off air it is and um, the stones off that are used to make curling stones it's so hard and there's fragments of that actually here unbelievably in the Lavan Sands I wonder what would have been there at one time I've never been on this path from now to Bangor never so it's going to be nice and the rain has decided not to arrive yet although the clouds over there are dark on the news this morning it was virtually guaranteed rain on and off and I was watching the video of the uh, that American fella, Captain Dan, the other day, he was walking along here and around Talibont area in a couple of miles time he couldn't go any further because of the flooding three years ago he filmed it in the summer and he couldn't, he had to turn back to Aberwin Greggin or I, I don't know where he was actually um, I can quite safely say that's not going to happen to me today because we've had uh, very, very little rain in the last few months. Bangor coming into view. There should be a pylon visible in the middle of the screen now. A small pylon that's just above um, Bangor Golf Course, that is. And my walk finishes underneath that, basically. Access to hides only, straight on, Wales coastal path along the shore. Those are the hides that accommodate the bird watchers here in the Lavan Sands. Nice slate slats here, used for fencing. Triangular shapes, all of them. There was a story behind these at one time. The rain has come on a bit now. Now this terrain rings a bell with um, Captain Dan when there was flooding uh, three years ago. I'm guessing that it would have been here that he wasn't able to go through. And he had to turn back to um, through the fields to Abergwyn Greggin. But As you say, Bloodwen. 
Yeah, it's draining in a little bit now. That's not enough really to put my coat on. That place earlier on when I said about um, Captain Dan having to turn back, he was there. Why am I talking about it? I don't know really. <laughs> it's just me and my ways and... Yeah, because I like watching other people on YouTube. And that's why I started vlogging my hikes to share with other people of similar mentality or similar interests. There's Bumaris, the other side of the Menai Straits. I never expected to be a little bit of a cliff here. Wankers. <clears throat> there are some places where this sign can be very helpful and useful. And there are some places where it's totally unnecessary. <laughs> like now. Where else am I? Boom, boom. Ooh. Talabont. It's a lovely little cemetery. The railway just out of Bangor. I don't know what that is. It's something to do with Pending Estates, anyway. And now I'm going this way. And that's the railway viaduct that goes from Bangor past um, Talibans. That's cool, that is. I've never seen that one before either. I've never seen a VW as small as this before. J Raj. Do a right now. Park Bryn Kegin and home. Brand new pavilion of Bangor Cricket Club. How long this has been here, this um, industrial estate with nothing on it? 21 years ago, these roads were built with plans to like develop uh, industrial um, units and um, a few years ago there was talk of a cinema coming here. There's nothing happening. Worn out sign. Ooh. White Bridge in Bangor. The trail goes that way, and then that way, basically. I'm leaving the trail today. Now, story of the day, 